main event time here at California Extreme Fighting, although we do have a swing bout ready to go as well that we will feature, but for all intents and purposes, this is the one that put the most butts in the seats. Tarion Flash Ware, he's got a lot of history with his opponent, Jared Papazian. The third stanza here tonight, the rubber match, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. Jared Papazian and Tarion Ware have fought twice before. The first time a mixed martial arts match that Papazian was able to emerge victorious via unanimous decision. And then a few years later, after a, a few MMA bouts between the two fell through, they ended up squaring off in a boxing ring. And in that fight, Terion Ware was able to secure a decision equaling the total. One and one apiece as we come in tonight at CXF MMA. But this time, Todd, there's a gold belt on the line. Certainly is. Bantamweight title up for grabs. Just crowned a new champion. Moments ago, we welcome you back to the broadcast here after a short break, fans. We thank you for joining us. You're inside the Sportsman's Lodge, live on SureDog.com. And you talked about the history with Papazian. Let's talk about the rest of Ware's record. He's 16 and five. Five wins by knockout, three by submission. And now Eight making his way to victories. the cage, so Jared the Papazian. Yeah, Terion Ware really likes to put together his combinations. Not a very uh, a flashy fighter, very compact, but he does have strikes that come out at all sorts of weird angles, and he can put together a five, six punch combination in a heartbeat. It's not a matter of power that for, for where that you have to worry about, it's sheer volume. He can hit you 30 times before you knew you got hit once. Big reaction here for Jared the Jackhammer Papazian. Looking to take home Bantamweight Championship Gold. What an experienced fighter Papazian is. Coming in with a record of 20 and 12, six knockout wins, two by submission, and mentioned the eight decision victories for where Papazian has 12 victories by decisions. Both these guys can go. Yeah, Jared Papazian's a real grinder. Uh, he likes to make the fight dirty. He likes to make it a dog match and uh, he might have his work cut out for him because Terry Ware likes to use his footwork and distance. And if he's firing on all cylinders, he can keep you guessing. But you see a lot of experience in the corner of, of Papazian. You see Vlad Matyshenko, the janitor. Of course, head coach Anthony Hardon, one of the best Dutch kickboxers in the history of mixed martial arts. And also one of the nicest guys in the sport. Papazian has UFC experience as well. Three fights inside the octagon. It's coming off of a victory here in CXSF, a uh, unanimous decision victory over Keith Carson. On the flip side, Ware coming off of three straight unanimous decision victories as well, including a CXF victory over Rob Gooch. And some last minute love from his friends and family. A lot riding on this fight. Coach Seb getting some last minute face paint applied. See Darren Harvey, Papazian's longtime manager in the corner, one of the most loyal men in the sport of mixed martial arts. Uh, a man that I'm proud to call a friend. Calm before the storm here. Main event Phantom Weight matchup. This is the one we've been looking for, looking forward to, partner. Cannot wait for this. Yeah, this is gonna be a hell of a fight. A lot of history. Two previous contests, once in the MMA cage, once in the boxing ring, and now we settle the score here tonight in a high stakes championship match. Time to get your popcorn ready, folks. Studio City, it's time for the main event of the evening. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds for the vacant CXF Bantamweight Championship title. The three judges scoring the bout at ringside. 
Chris Crail, Jackie Deccan, and Gene LaBelle. The man in charge of the action once the bell sounds, Mr. Frank Trigg. Are you ready? Studio City, are you ready? For all of those in attendance this evening and to the thousands watching around the world on SureDog.com, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to throw down! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left, wearing the black trunks with the red trim, he weighed in at 135 pounds even. He has a professional record of 16 wins, only five defeats from Los Angeles. Here is the Flash, Tyrion Ware. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, my right, wearing the white trunks with the red trim. He also weighed in at 135 pounds even, with a professional record of 20 wins, only 12 defeats, one draw, from West Hills, California. He is the jackhammer, Jared Papazian. Bantamweight title on the line, your official Frank Trigg. Where in the black, Papazian in the gray. No touch of the gloves. These guys have a lot of history. Looking to settle the score and finish this thing off one way or another here tonight. It's very rare in, in the regional ranks you find two fighters that have shared so much time with each other. It might take a little time before these guys remember who they're in there with, but make no mistake, it's just a matter of time. This one a long time coming, as you mentioned. A few uh, close calls near matchups between these two that fell through for whatever reason, and now they settle it. And what a way to do it with championship gold on the line. Bozzian doing a good job with those leg kicks. Very much trademark Dutch leg kicks. In the style of Anthony Hardarm. Carry on where lands one of his own. Both fighters, tons of experience. Papazi and 20 victories inside the cage. Where was 16? One thing that I've noticed already early on is Terion appears to be the much more patient of the two fighters. Jared's very frenetic, uh, using a lot of half feints. They're not even full feints. Uh, he is landing very well with that leg kick, though. Perhaps he's trying to slow down the footwork of the quicker Terion Ware. Nice right hand from Ware finds a mark. Follows up with a beautiful leg kick. Left hook attempt as well as we listen to the crowd now. Oh, nice life for this man. Oh, he caught Ware him. Ware rocked him. We'll see if a uh, flash indeed. Fast hands there by Ware. Papazian immediately looked to his coach. Oh, man. Rocked Ware's again. really getting loose here. Papazian having a hard time with the speed. Carry on Ware. Papazian was looking for the throw, couldn't get it. And now Ware just drives Papazian straight down into the canvas. Carry on Ware, impressive thus far. We'll see if he can keep the pedal to the metal. You know, Terry on Ware was approaching this fight as a guy who, who only had one previous engagement with Jared Papazian. As far as Terion's concerned, he lost to Papazian in the cage, so he needs to exact that measure of, of revenge inside the mixed martial arts cage under that rule set. The boxing match, according to Ware, was not a very good measuring stick for how this fight was gonna go down. Ware thinking triangle scored with an elbow off of his back as well. Oh, Papazian's in a bad situation here. Struck, st stuck between a uh, rock and a hard fist, that is for sure. And Ware's got a vicious triangle. He seems to be off the side. Papazian trying to power to his way leg. out of this. Ware doing a good job of maintaining that dominant position. Jared's gonna pop his head free. 
Nice sharp elbow too from Papazian. Papazian starts to unleash some offense of his own after eating some shots. Papazian, you talked about that whole uh, fire and frying pan analogy. That's where Papazian found himself moments ago, but able to get out of there. We'll see if he can come out of the blocks offensively now with the title on the line. Nice exchange here. They're standing toe to toe. Papazian with a nice right hand follows it up with a takedown, but where quickly back to his feet. Papazian let the hands fly, followed it up with a nice takedown, but not able to capitalize with the takedown. Great first round of action thus far. Would you expect anything less between these two? So much pride on the line on top of the championship. No, uh, you know, these guys, like I said, they, they shared so much time together. This is like round seven, it's not round one. It's one fight that's lasted about seven years, <laughs> Todd. Oh, is this the final chapter? doing a good job of controlling wear up against the cage. Earlier, Papazian had that clinch and was able to throw the knees. Doesn't come up with anything against the cage. Oh, left hand scores for wear again. Right follows. There have been some incredible exchanges here as round one comes to a close. And both men want to put their stamp on this rivalry and take home the title. Boy, we are in for fireworks, my friend. Absolutely. These two guys wasting no time. Starting right where they left off. Papazian seems a little bit out of it in, in the corner there. Your thoughts on round one, edge and striking? To I where? To, I had to give round one to where. He, he definitely landed the more effective shots. Had Papazian rocked a couple different times. Papazian was able to score with some nice elbows. He did provide some offense of his own. But I have to give the edge to Terry on in that round. Been a lot of shots exchanged between these two leading up to the fight on social media and now literally letting them fly. Round two. Fozzie is looking to start off on the leg, then switching. Elevation going high. He seems much more tentative this round, Todd. Perhaps the result of being on the wrong end of those punches. We're blitzing in again. Yeah, Papazian ate some big shots in the first round. Maybe a little gun shy. Shoots for the takedown. And he didn't set that takedown shot up with his hands at all. He just dove right in. Oh, nice shots though here by Papazian. Nice jab work from, from Terry on Ware. Papazian charges forward to the left. And striking just remains crisper on the part of where it would seem. Oh, he's just starching him with that jab right now. Papazian having a hard time seeing the punches coming. We're now gonna work out of the half guard, the loose half guard of Papazi, and gonna try and keep raining down the strikes. Huge look of concern on the face of Papazi in here. All the confidence that came out in round one has evaporated. As Terry on Ware looks to take firm control of this fight, Todd. Yeah, Ware wants to break the tie here with Papazian and break down his opponent. Papazian back to his feet. Oh, two-punch combination for Ware lands. 
Papazian bites down and tries to fire back. Boy, this just might turn into an absolute slugfest. But Ware is throwing two Ooh, to three huge punches. Knee for from Papazian. Oh, and now turning the tide. Pendulum momentum starts to change. Papazian looking for the takedown again, but again unsuccessful. Now the tight clinch. You got a good look at the footwork of Ware there. He's quickly able to, to exit to the left. Jagger committed on that takedown defense and ended up on his back. Ware certainly seems the pressure of the two in this Bantamweight Championship contest at this point in the action. Short elbow from Papazi and scores from the bottom. Corner of Papazian urging him to push him off. Absolutely, I, I, I've had the benefit of spending some time with Anthony Hardonk, and he is definitely not a fan of fighting off your back. He wants Papazian to create some space, push off the hips, and try to get some, some room so he can get back to his feet. Ware was able to pass, but now out the back door was Papazian. Didn't make it, however. We're looking to slide that leg over to create some room so he can go to mount. Now inside control. And you can just sense that Papazian expelling so much energy here defensively. He is wearing down a lot of starch oh, out of that tank as you mentioned, but still moving forward. You know, he's digging deep. The lactic acid in those arms is definitely built up, but he's still pure heart right now, Jared Papazian. Now he goes in for a takedown of his own, but not a lot of steam on that. More of a flailing attempt. Uh, oh, down Papazian, goes Papazian got him. I mean, he, Ware got him. He is exhausted as well, but caught on the button. And I think it's a combination, the sum of fatigue and the residual damage of the shots by Ware. Frank Trigg getting a real close look at this. He's not gonna let Papazian take too much damage. It's Ware's title to win right now, but can he finish the job? It's not so much the shots that Papazian's taking, it's, it's how he's reacting to him at this point. Carry on Ware really starting to dig deep here. He is indeed looking for the full mount to close the round. Oh, Big short strikes. left hand. Is Papazian oh. going to survive? What is keeping him on his feet? These two are going back and forth. What a fight. Papazian laboring to get back to his corner. The eyes were looking strange there, but man, oh man, he survived. You got to give him credit for that. Oh, he's having a hard time staying on his stool, Frank. Official Frank Trigg taking a close look here. He's going to maybe have a judgment call. Is he going to be able to answer the bell? Will Papazian be able to make it to round three? Frank Trigg getting a real good look. Anthony Hardong shouting out some instructions to Papazian. He's battered, he's bruised, but he's still in this fight, Todd. We are gonna have a round three. Studio City, point. this is the third and final round. Let's get loud. Frank Trigg keep, was keeping a close eye on Papazi and their fighter safety paramount. But again, the title's on the line. Papazi is absolutely exhausted. They forgot his mouthpiece. Perhaps that was a tactic. They could have handed it through the fence. Excellent point. Bottom. Some crucial seconds. Expect where to be on the attack. Papazian comes out aggressive here. Oh, he's a caged animal. He's backed up. He's got no other choice, but he eats a big right there. Oh, the jab. geez, Louise. Carry on where is cracking him with it. Oh, oh, he's done. It just completely folded like an accordion. Carry on where spectacular third round knockout of Jared Papazian. 
earns himself the CXF Bantamweight title. Man, Jared Papazian just turned into Gumby there in front of our very eyes. The residual effects of a hard fought title contest as well as the pinpoint striking and the never say die attitude of that man, Terry on Flash Ware. Well, his hands were on fire throughout. Statement making victory here. Claiming the rivalry and the title, my friend. You know, it's a bittersweet moment for your colleague. I consider both of these two young men uh, friends. And, uh, but I will tell you this, the, the best result could have happened. Uh, we got treated to a great fight. Both of these guys performed. It wasn't Jared for positive night tonight, but make no mistake, it will be again. Todd, I, I, I gotta think that that first combination that Ware landed, that, that starchy jab, that one-two, that cracked the Pazian at the end of the second round, that changed the tempo of the fight. You saw a different Jared Pazian after that. Still down on the mat, I, I think this is more a, a result of the realization that he didn't get the victory uh, than him being exhausted. I think that exhaustion is, is a factor as well. However, Papazi went out on his sword there, man. He gave it everything he had. You know, I think a lot of lesser fighters, even with the title on the line and in the, in the condition he was in, the position he was in, maybe wouldn't have answered the bell for that third round, but he came out like a true warrior did Papazi. Absolutely, and, and let me just make one obvious point. Terion Ware is going home with the victory tonight, but what we saw in this cage was perhaps two of the top bantamweights not in the UFC. Jared Papazian should not what have to remind head everybody we still like have on one more Absolute fight warrior. to go. Don't go anywhere. Right after I give the call, we're going into the final fight of the evening. And although this contest our featured main event, we still got one fight to go, fans. Hope you're hanging with us here on SureDog.com. Our pleasure to bring you the action again, Todd Kennelly. Jonathan King here with you. And what a victory there by Terry on Ware. You know what, Jared Papazian is obviously distraught right now, but it harkens back to a lesson that my father taught me a long time ago, Todd. We were fishing and I got upset that we wouldn't catch anything. He'd say, Jonathan, the name of the sport's fishing. It's not catching. The name of this game is fighting. It's not winning. Studio City, the time, the 20 the seconds into down. round number three for the winner by knockout and new CXF Bantamweight champion, The Flash, Tarion Ware. Lights Out Promotions, George gonna put the belt on. Wow, there's some sportsmanship going on right here. Oh, look at that. Jared Papazian You wonder what makes the, the belt MMA on, special? Tarion Ware. Great sportsmanship, Jared. Pass it over to Miss Heather. All right, you guys, you got your champion here, Darian. What a, a, a ruthless fight. You know, you just stayed at it. You, you seemed like you were pretty calm and, and collected, even though he was, you know, rolling with you right there. I mean, what was the key uh, to the training camp to get you through here tonight? Uh, you know, just listen to my coaches, man. This is the third time we fought. And um, you know, so you have a lot of experience, so you don't need to hear anything inside the, the cage, also inside the boxing ring. So, you know, I, I don't look at any tape, really. I let my coaches do all that, and just tell me what to do in training. And um, I feel the best coaches in the world, Ian Harris, Adam Lerner. You know, if you don't know their names now, you're going you're gonna to know their names in a couple of years, believe me. And um, so, you know, I, I all of my, you know, all that, all these skills, you know, to them. I just show up and I just do hard work, put a mastermind behind everything. Did you work a lot of wrestling and defense? Yeah, the first time we fought was four years ago, and I was, a, I was basically a, a baby deer trying to you know, learn this game. And you know, he, he used his strength and his wrestling to take me down that, you know, that entire fight. 
you know, so my entire career, I'm, I'm a warm striker. I've been striking since I was three years old, doing karate, a little bit of boxing. So wrestling jiu jitsu is always something that, that's brand new to me. So for the last, you know, four or five years, I've been working to show that up. And um, it culminated in tonight, man. He's, he's really, really strong. He got in really deep on those doubles, and I had to really, really give it my all to stop those takedowns. And the more body shots I landed, the more I was able to get him tired, the more shots started coming, you know, less hard on his knees and stuff, and then just use my boxing. It was, uh, it was a phenomenal show. Uh, congratulations on your victory. Give it up for Darian, your champion. Dar Darian, sorry. I didn't realize my name, my name. And we got his friend right here, training partner, who almost jumped on uh, me when he was jumping on the cage. We got his son right now. Uh, the champ. Yeah, baby flash. Put your hands up, Jaden. Congratulations to the flag.